Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a beauty video for you today. This is actually going to be a little bit different than just a one video. This is going to be a videos done in like segments, segments <laughs> because I have this array of dry shampoos that I'm going to be trying. So um, this video is going to be like a little compilation of all the dry shampoos, me trying them and whatnot and what you know, so forth and everything. Um, my absolute favorite dry shampoo is by Elizabeth and James Nirvana. It's the Rose Dry Shampoo. They all also have the white, the black, they have a burgundy. I've tried all of those. There might be another one that I haven't tried, but um, I love them all. I just love the performance of this dry shampoo. It Now, the only thing, it, it doesn't actually give a lot of grip, um, but it gives volume. And it just soaks up that oil so good. But I have not been able to find... This one's empty. I just kept it so I could show y'all. But I have not been able to find this again. Um, especially this one. I do have a white and a black in this size that I found the last time I went to Sephora. But it was on like cl a clearance shelf. And I asked the girl, I was like, what is going on with this dry shampoo? Because it's my favorite. I haven't been able to find it online. It's always it's sold out. It's never restocked. Um, I've gotten a couple, like, ordered a couple baby ones just to kind of keep me going. Um, and she's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's on the clearance. Um, she's, but they had, like, they had a, about four of each of them. So I bought, like, two of each just to kind of keep me going. Um, but I haven't been back to Sephora to check and see if they got any more, especially, like, this one. Because this is my favorite. This is the rose. Um, if you know me... I've expressed many times I love floral scents, perfumes, dry shampoos, mascara. <laughs> uh, I love a good floral scent. I'm just a floral kind of girl. But anyway, um, like she couldn't give me an explanation of what was going to happen if you know they were going to come back or whatever. But um, so anyway, so I was like, okay, well then I need to be on a hunt for dry shampoo. Um, now I will say that I did try. Um, I'm going to open this box up. Obviously, I took this one out because this is the first one I'm going to be trying. I'm going to try it today. Um, Chlorine Shampooing Sec. Dry shampoo with oat milk. Um, you'll see in the next segments um, how I feel about it. But this is when you open the little box. This is how it is. It's got all the little like mini sizes of a little compilation of dry shampoos. So I didn't... <laughs> I usually start from the front and work my way that way, but this one, although I have actually tried this one before, this is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo uh, Perfect Hair Day. I don't know what happened if the little stem on the inside um, came off, but it don't work. I went to use it yesterday. Um, I'll explain how I dry shampoo in the next segment over, but um, yeah, it would, it, it like, it's, one spray and then it stopped so I kept shaking it and I was like oh, it's definitely full and it just would not it would not come out so um, I don't know the, I think the little thing the little you know the little thing on the inside spray I, I don't that connects to the spray nozzle I think it's off so I can kind of hear some drink, jingling up in there um, so I could not try this one although I have tried it before and I have to say my opinion I know this is a very popular dry shampoo and a lot of I've seen a lot of bloggers and youtubers use it and love it I don't like it and that's just my opinion everybody's different on what they like in a dry shampoo the smell gets to me it's not a bad smell but it's a faint smell that I can smell all day and I'm just like mm, I need I need to get this out um, I I just don't I just don't like it but it is highly loved it is like the number one if you pull it up on Sephora it's like one of the first ones that come up even on Ulta but I don't particularly like it so I was gonna try I was gonna try it again in front of the camera for y'all and just explain my thoughts but it don't work and I'm not gonna go buy me another one because I always I already know I don't like it so I'm not gonna waste my money on I mean I could go get a travel one but I already know I don't like it so that's my thoughts on this one so I'm just gonna put him back in the little spot. The reason I started with this one is because I've seen it around as well and people have raved about it also. So if you want to see how I use this and my thoughts on it so far after doing my hair, um, then keep watching. 
All right, so this is my second day hair. I washed it yesterday. So a little tip that um, I learned was the first day, like when you first wash your hair, to go ahead and spray dry shampoo after it's ready or after it's dried, and you know, because it'll it'll help um, with the with the oil that you get throughout the day. And I did spray this one in yesterday. This one is Chlorine shampooing sec dry shampoo with oat milk gentle formula for all hair types so far like i liked it yesterday when i put it in my hair it does have kind of a little bit of grip to it as far as like i can tell and i i kind of like that um because my hair's my hair's thin it's not necessarily fine i kind of have more coarse hair because it has a natural curl to it that i i blow dry out um but the grip, but for some reason my hair being coarse, it does not hold a curl. So having some grip to it is a good thing for me. So let's go ahead and spray this one in for the second day. And I spray my part. It's got a good blast to it. I don't know if the full size will do that, but it's got a good blast. I like that. Try to get the back. And then I'll just separate where I get the most oil at, which is mainly at the top. And um, a little bit like I put it back here at the bottom of my hair too because um, for when, you know, I'm working out, I'm sweating. That's where I sweat a lot. So I just section it here and put it at the crown. It is kind of like wet and cold when you first um, put it on. So you just kind of like let it um, set for just like a few seconds. I mean, not, not even quite a minute. Just, just let it set. So I kind of got, got those back there. It has a fresh smell. It's not very, it's not overpowering, power ring. I can't say that for some reason. Um, but I cannot stand that. I cannot stand a very overpower smell in a dry shampoo because I smell it all day. But this one just has a very light, fresh smell. And um, I can't say, I, I didn't smell it at all throughout the day yesterday at all. So um, today is the second day that I'm, I'm using it, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and just rub that in. So I can feel it, it kind of, it's, um, it's got a good grip to it. It's got like that, kind of like that coarse feeling, but at the roots. So that's good, especially if you don't have a lot of hair and you want volume. Um, this one might be for you, but the the white cast sort of it looks like it sort of went, went away. But I mean, I am I am blonde. I mean, my roots are darker, but um, when you rub it in, it looks like it. You know, it didn't. The white cast kind of went away. Hey y'all! Another day, another dry shampoo. So today I have just um, this is second day hair, but it's from yesterday. I washed my hair yesterday. And I just let it air dry, and uh, this is what we get. <laughs> so last night before I went to bed, I chose, let me just tell you why I chose this one. This is the Detox Dry Shampoo um, by Dry Bar. I, I was going to, you know, go backwards, but I'm totally afraid of this one right here. It's the Quay, or Key, I don't know how you say that, Dry Shampoo Foam. I'm totally scared of that. I don't. I don't know about a dry shampoo foam. So we're going to do that one last. <laughs> we're going to save that one for last. It might be a total catastrophe. I don't know. But I put this in my hair. Whoa. <laughs> I put this in my hair last night um, before I went to bed. Now I will tell you so far, this smell is a little much in the beginning for me. Like I smelt it a little while. And then last night I had, I had a headache. I had to take one of my medicines. So... After I sprayed it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. But it actually wasn't terrible. And I actually don't really smell it too much today. But, I mean, we're going to spray it again. Um, I did notice that it does have a little bit of color to it. You can see on the um, on the nozzle, there's like a almost like a blonde shade. So, um, yay for that. Um, so, I, there must be like other, like a darker shade or something. In fact, I think there are. 
I think there is like um, like a brunette and things like that. So I don't know if this one's just like um, for blonde. It doesn't say for blondes or anything like that, but it does have like a nude kind of tint to it. So that's the one in the in the box. So we'll go ahead and spray it on. So I will say what I learned from last night. It doesn't have grip to it. It's very very soft, very powdery. Um, and it, it's kind of it's kind of a little wet, so you have to kind of let it sink in. Let's go ahead and start. So it does it does kind of give off like a like a little white kind of cast, even though it's like a new spray. Look at this. I just kind of section my hair out where I get most oily at, especially up the crown here. Just add a little volume back there, and then I also put it down here where my um, cow lifts are, and that's where I sweat the most too when I go work out. This one, um, like I said, I smelt it a little bit while I was like trying to go to sleep last night, but this morning when I woke up and throughout the morning, I haven't, I haven't smelt it. So um, now it's, I can smell it now since I just sprayed it. Um, but that's all I know about it, uh, right now, except for the fact that it doesn't have, like, a grip to it. it. I don't find that it really gives any more body than I already kind of had going on. And, um, but it's, it's, um, it does its job. It does its job. It, it picks up the oil, it, like, it, like, I wasn't oily this morning, like I usually am in the mornings. So, yeah, we'll see if it does its job and keeps the oil at bay um but as far as i know let's go ahead and rub it in it doesn't have like a like it's just i can just feel it's super soft and especially last night when i put it in after i've had like after i had clean hair it was super super soft like my hair didn't have like it's still like i could feel like it was um i could feel the softness in it and it wasn't like giving me any kind of grip um so if you, you know, might be for you. I don't know. Now I can feel a little bit of a grip today. Maybe that's just because this is my second application of it. Um, but that's what we, this is what we got so far. I'm gonna, it does kind of give a little bit of volume maybe. Um, I'm gonna go do something with this. I don't know. I'll probably just throw in some curls to make it look kind of decent. <laughs> um, or maybe I'll be just throwing it up in a ponytail. I don't know what I'm doing with it. So, um, so yeah, I can kind of feel, take that back. I can kind of feel some grip to it. But like I said, it may just be because this is my second time using it. I used it last night and it was super soft on my hair. Um, I can't tell you that. So we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Uh, I forgot to get back with y'all last time. I had said I was going to come back and let y'all know. Um, about the chlorine or however you say it. Um, I really liked it. I really, really did. Um, it, it wore great throughout the day. I didn't have like um, oily hair. In fact, I had, I went a third day um, with hair with it. Um, of course, I did wear my hair in a ponytail on that third day, but I didn't have any issues with, um, with oiliness in my hair. Um, after using that one. So that one so far is my favorite. Uh, we'll see how this one does. The only thing I can say about this one, um, it does have a little bit of a smell that I'm not sure if I'm going to be okay with. <laughs> we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Um, yeah, and I'll get back with you today. Okay, so this is like hours later, I guess about eight hours later. Um, I had curled my hair this morning after I sat here and talked to y'all and put the dry shampoo in it. And I must say, um, I really do like it. I really do like this one. I think I do prefer this one so far over the dry bar. Um, but very close. The, the only thing with this one is super, super powdery. Um, like I had, I had it like all over me <laughs> when I went, um, in my bathroom to like curl my hair a little bit. I'm like my shirt, I had like a purple t-shirt on and it was like covered in powder. And just as I like 
run my hands through my hair. I'm bad about that. I run through my hands through my hair like all day. I can it gets on my hands. So that's really the only thing. The smell. Um, I caught whiffs of it throughout the day, but it's not potent at all. Not like the um, the Living Proof, the Perfect Hair Day. I couldn't think of the name of it. Not at all like that one. That one I could just smell all day. And that it that may not be anybody else's thing, but I don't I don't like I don't like smelling that all day long. This one was very subtle, even though I caught whiffs of it throughout the day. It wasn't like it didn't bother me, like I'm okay with it. This one I didn't smell at all. Um what else? It it like I said, it's um I think I said it mentioned it this morning. It's very soft. It doesn't give your hair a sort of it, it gives a little gritty grip to it, but nothing, you know, nothing like, um, nothing like this one. This one, not to say that it, it didn't like make your hair stiff or anything, but it just had like a little bit of grip to it to, you know, if you needed some volume, I don't know, or something. Um, this one, I just, I just found that it was just really soft, um, which is not a bad thing at all. So if, but it, I mean, it performed great. So this is my second day at the end of the day. Um, and like, there's no, like, it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't look greasy. And to, I'll see tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'll see how my hair looks. You see if I can go a day with it. Of course, I'm probably going to go work out in the morning. So, um, see how it does from there. But, um, but yeah, I really, I like it. Um, but which, if I had to choose, which, choose which one I would buy so far, it would definitely be this one, Chlorine. I don't know how to say that. I need to learn that. But this one's this one's not bad at all. Not not bad at all. So so yeah. So that's it so far. I think next up we're gonna do the um, the Moroccan oil, which I'm actually really excited about this one. It says it has a light tone to it, so we'll see what that does. I can't smell anything right now, but um, I'm really excited to try this one. All right, so I'll see y'all on my next dry shampoo day. Day three of dry shampoo challenge. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Um, trying dry, dry shampoos, who knows. But today we're using the Moroccan oil um, dry shampoo. Um, and this one's for light tones. I didn't notice that when I was looking through the little package. And um, I, I did use it last night because I washed my hair yesterday morning. And um, before I went to bed, I did, I sprayed this in it. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But I noticed it's got like a, can y'all see that it's got like a violet, a violet tone to it on the nozzle? So yeah, so I feel, I do feel like it did some good as far as like um, keeping the oil good for the next morning but but then again I'm not sure I feel like it is it can be it can look a little greasy I don't know maybe that's just because my roots are coming in and they're darker and they always look greasy when they're darker but let's go ahead and spray let's see what it does today I'm gonna start right here oh it does give a little a little white cast now I can see it in the light okay yeah, I was just in my bathroom last night, and I didn't really notice a cast on it, but I can definitely see it tonight. Oh, it's actually kind of violet. Just like the, um, that's weird. I didn't see that last night. Okay. It's, it's hard. It's like it, you think it's going to be aiming at the right spot, and then it doesn't. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it's just this can, though, but I will say it smells really good. Like, really good. And it's not overpowering. Like even I put the, I sprayed it before I went to bed, and I didn't spray it by the time. Like I didn't smell it by the time I got in bed. So it's uh, a very light kind of just a just a fresh. Just I don't know. It has like a floral smell kind of to it, which I love flowers. It's just very light and relaxing, actually. Hair looks purple. <laughs> I don't know how this, how well this is gonna go. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's get this in there. 
So the violet does kind of go away. It just kind of sinks into your hair. I like the way it feels. It's very soft. Um, it's not powdery like the dry, the dry bar one was, but it has the same sort of feel to it. It's just light. I'm not going to say it gives like, it doesn't really give much like volume or texture. Um, but I'm, I'm not mad about that. You know, it just, it feels really clean. But yeah, almost about the same as the dry bar. Just not as powdery as that one was. Um, and I definitely like rare, I don't even like feel like I smell it right now. I mean, it's on my hands, but um, I'm shedding like a bear. But yeah, it's uh, it's very light, so it doesn't have much grip to it. It does give a little bit of volume, maybe. Um, yeah, oh, I can feel a little bit of grip when I kind of run my fingers through it. Yeah, so I think I kind of like this one so far. I think this one uh, might come in second from the chlorine or whatever. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but that's like my favorite so far. But this one's, I think this one might come in kind of second. Because I found the dry bar was just, I keep saying it, but it was just too powdery. And the smell was, I don't know, a little overbearing for me. It wasn't bad, but it was, it, like, it didn't stay on me all. Like, I didn't smell it all day long. But, um, I just didn't really care for the smell. But the dry shampoo itself was okay. But, like I said, it was just a little powdery for me but this one is very light although it's it's got a powdery kind of texture just like the dry bar one but it's a little lighter than that and it's just got a kind of a soft texture um with a little bit of grip i can feel it when i run my hands through my hair all right so i'm gonna go curl this hair fix it a little bit and um i'll check back later and let y'all know how it did throughout the day okay well it is now 10 24 to be exact it's been a long day um i don't know what i what i look like but my hair stayed i mean it stayed really good throughout the day i really like the dry shampoo um we did the moroccan oil dry shampoo shampooing sec for light tones i really like and i did not smell it at all like i can't even smell it like when i fool with my hair i can't I can't smell it at all but I mean it does it, it it worked I mean this has been since I think I filmed that video at like 8 o'clock this morning and it's like 10 30 now I'm I'm really happy with this one I think it's gonna be a tough choice for me I might have to um get the big both big bottles and just decide between the chlorine or or the Moroccan oil I don't know so, um, they're coming in close but yeah just wanted to uh, hop on here and show y'all that I am super tired I'm going to take me a bath and go to bed I just finished watching Shadow Hunters the last final episode <sighs> so I'm so sad I'm so sad to see it go it was such a good show I loved all the characters I need to get back into the book I actually only read the first one City of Bones but yeah, so I will see y'all um, next time with, I think, the last one, which is the foam dry shampoo. So that should be interesting. So see y'all then. It's a new dry shampoo day. Today we are going to use a dry shampoo foam from Quay. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I saved this one for last because... It's a foam, a dry shampoo foam. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'll have to read the instructions. I need my glasses. Okay, so I just washed and dried my hair. So it's freshly washed and dried. I just blew it out um, just to get, you know, most of the curls out, but there's still some in there. So I am going to be um, flat ironing or styling it, flat ironing and whatever after I do this. So, um, so yeah, so this is freshly clean hair. So let's see how this does, um, on this fresh clean hair. And then tomorrow I'll be back and we'll do it again on second day hair. And I'll probably be going, um, work out in the morning. So yeah, we'll see how it really performs. So it just says to give it a good shake, shake it up, work 
a palm full of product onto your hair and scalp. I'm really, oh, like what's a palm full? Like that maybe? I'm really scared. Like this, this makes no sense to me. Like I don't, I don't know how to, <laughs> cause like I put it in certain spots and I don't know how this is gonna work. You know what I'm saying? This is weird. Oh my God, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> All right, let's, let's work this in. Oh my God, this is not, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like this, y'all. We'll see. Okay, it's working in. It's working in nicely. Okay, so. Okay, Whew. I got a little scared. Like I was putting, like just mousse in dry hair. I just don't. I don't know how I feel about that. But it worked in quite nicely. Um, feels like it might have gave it a little. I don't know if I would say maybe a little bit of grip, but it's a soft grip. It just feels soft where I put it. Um, definitely got some volume going on. So that's promising. Um, I usually like to put some down here too. So let's just put just a little bit. Like, I don't know. Maybe that on each side. Because this is where I sweat a lot back here. So we're going to prep that for tomorrow's tomorrow morning's workout session and see if it helps soak up some of that sweat not soak up but you know just kind of help we'll see but yeah it goes in it like at first it's just it's really intimidating because it's weird putting a mousse because the first my first thought is that it's going to be um like coarse and not work right but it's actually really soft and um really does give good volume <laughs> for sure so okay so i'm gonna go fix my hair i'm not gonna check back with y'all today but i will uh, be back tomorrow for second day hair after a workout um and then i'm gonna fix it and then get with y'all back at the end of tomorrow so until then okay it's the second day well second hair day from yesterday. I've actually gone work out this morning. Um, one little trick I've learned um, is after you work out to if whatever you got your hair up in just immediately take it out. I sweat a lot. I know this is gross. I sweat a lot in my hair. So as soon as I'm done I'll take my ponytail out and I'll just kind of run my fingers through it. It's, it's like really gross. Um, and then I come home and I just basically like kind of let it air dry. I do spray some water in it and then kind of blow dry it out just to kind of get that nasty sweat out. Sweat, sweaty feeling. I, I know it's really disgusting. I should probably wash my hair today, but you know what? It feels, it feels normal. So as far as like how this worked yesterday, it worked like great yesterday. Um, even after exercising and sweating so much in my head, my, it's, I'm not like, I don't have like an extremely oily scalp um to me it, it feel it actually like feels okay and I didn't mention this yesterday I forgot but this has a very light fresh smell but it goes away like the I didn't smell it on me all day which is one of my pet peeves about dry shampoo I hate smelling it on me all day long like absolutely hate it it just like gets to me um but this had a very fresh smell going on and, um, and, but it just, it, like, I could smell it for a little bit, but it's very, like, very light, 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 very light. Um, and I didn't, like, it just went away. I didn't smell it the rest of the day or anything like that. The only thing, I'm still a little, like, iffy about the whole foam thing. I just don't know. So we're going to do it today, and I'm going to style my hair, and then I'm going to come back on later and give y'all my final thoughts about everything how how i rate them from the number one to the least you probably already know which one the least is going to be 
Um, but I have some contenders. I think all the other ones were actually pretty good. I just don't like um, Living Proof. I just don't like it. It smells on me all day long, and I just can't stand it. And I actually don't find that it does a very good job e either. Okay, so let's get some foam up in here. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it like I did yesterday. I'm just going to kind of pat it where I'm most greasy. I'm going to kind of split my hair just like I would normally. It's the only thing, you know, it's like, it's like weird. I'm getting it all up in there, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to work that in and then I'll put some more like underneath my hair. But it's got a very nice smell though. Like I, I, I don't, I'm just iffy on the foam, y'all. It just, it's just weird to me. I don't know. But as you work it in, it's like really soft. And um, it, like I said, it just, it smells really nice. It gives it good volume too. And of course it doesn't give you that powdery, um, especially if you have like darker hair, it's not gonna, you don't have to like continuously rub it in. It's not gonna give you that powdery look or feel. I mean, some people like it. I kind of actually like the powder, powdery feel. Not so much like the look of it, but I kind of like the feel of it. So I'm just put this underneath because that's where I sweat a lot. I know it's gross. <laughs> But it, you know, it, it does, you gotta really like kind of work it in because it is like a, a wet foam. But the more you work it in, it starts to dry. And um, and it's just really, it's actually really nice. Like I'm just, I'm surprised I really like it. I don't know, you know, how I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna go back over them and um, see how I like, what I like about them. But I think this is a good, Cause my hair just feels actually like fresh. Like I just, like I just washed it, but not really. <laughs> I'll let y'all know at the end of the day how it worked out. And then I'll give you my uh, thoughts about the rest of them. And we'll conclude this long journey of dry shampoo. Okay, I'm back several hours later. Um, sorry about the greasy mess of this face. Um, but I was about to go take a bath and I was like, I need to... <laughs> let them know about my hair but I am super impressed with the qu quay k I don't I don't know how to pronounce it but I am super impressed with this dry shampoo foam um, I I really I really do like it like honestly I really do like it um my hair I mean it's nothing spectacular but I mean it it doesn't look greasy what I like about it, it's not powdery. Like a couple of these, especially I think like these two were powdery. This one way more than this one. And I, I really like that. I'm used to a really powdery dry shampoo because that's how Elizabeth and James is. It's powdery, but it's not as powdery as say this one. But um, so I, I really like the way this one feels in my hair. It just made it feel like clean and like it doesn't actually feel like second day hair, which is crazy. Um, now usually on my third day, I can't leave it down because I have too many like cowlicks. I have cow two cowlicks in the back and then I have, um, this, this is a nice little cowlick right there. Um, I also have one on this side. <laughs> like they both, like no matter what. Like, it just won't stay down. It just wants to, you know. And that's really not a problem. These are not a problem. I'm not worried about those. But it stops me from ever, like, having, like, bangs. I can't have bangs. Because they would just... They would be looking like that all day. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, I'm super impressed with the foam. I wish there was a... Like, just a regular spray dry shampoo. So I could try it out. Because it just really intimidates me. And I don't know if I'm using it correctly. If you use this, 
Let me know in the comments down below, am I using it right? What other way can I use it? But I mean, it, it did a good job and I like I, I like the way um, my hair felt like all day today. It just, it did not have that second day full of dry shampoo hair and I worked out this morning. So, and I sweat in my head a lot. So I am super, super impressed with it. So I had a hard time trying to figure out which ones I prefer. Um, so I lined them up according, and I will show y'all how I lined them up. But I kind of, like, two of them are coming in second. Like, I can't decide which one I prefer over the other. Yeah, so let, let me just tell you, and you probably know already, this is, like, my favorite. The, the Chlorine. I like this one. Um, I like it mainly because it's just a regular spray dry shampoo, but yet it's not, it's not intense. Like it's not super powdery and it doesn't have, it just has almost like this one. It just has like a clean smell, like right when you spray it, I don't even like smell it like the rest of the, the time. Like you spray it and you smell it a little while and it's gone. And that's what I like. I don't like that dry shampoo smell. I hate it. So this is my top pick. This is my number one. These two came in second because I just can't decide which, which one I preferred over the other. I, I like this one because of the fact that it's a regular spray dry shampoo that I'm used to. But I like this one because it didn't give me that. Sorry, I have glasses. I've been wearing my reading glasses. Um, so I have glasses marks on my nose. I just realized that. Like, I look atrocious. But anyway, it's not the point. We're here for dry shampoo. Um, yeah, I just like the way this one, I just like the way it performed. I'm really super impressed with it. So these came in, like, really close together. And they both don't, like, have that staying smell dry shampoo that I hate. This one, um... It does have, you know, a little bit of smell when you first put it on, of course, and you might smell it for a little bit, but then the smell goes away. This one, like, goes away, like, almost immediately. Um, so, I don't know. I might have to just, like, get this one in a full size and this one in a full size and just play around with them and see which ones I prefer. And all three of these, like, I'm, I'm super excited to have, like, three that I really, really like. And that I know I'm going to purchase in full size. I don't know which one first. I'll probably go back to this one first. Uh, and then maybe this one. And then maybe this one. This one actually got a lot of product in it. That's another good thing about this one. I used it. Well, I mean. I've only used it twice. But. I mean, when I feel these two. This one feels a lot heavier. Like, it's just got a lot more in there. I don't know. This is 1.5. 1.7. And, um. 1.0 this one's real feels super em empty but maybe it's just the fact that you overspray maybe when you have like a like a spraying and with this you you don't overuse it so yeah i got I, I i don't know like i really like all three of these but this one definitely comes in first for me and these two are coming in at like number two because i can't just i can't decide which one i prefer the whoa Sorry. The Detox Dry Shampoo um, by Dry Bar is okay. I I liked it, but I kind of smelt it. You know, not, not a lot. The smell lingered a little bit longer than these other three, um, but it wasn't bad at all. Like, and, and by the end of the day, I didn't smell it at all from what I remember. But, um... I just thought this one was just so super powdery. Like, I felt like I was just adding to the dirtiness of my hair <laughs> on the second day. Like I said, on the third day, I usually, I, it's usually up on the third day if there is a third day. Uh, I usually wash it on the third day or like I'll go exercise and then I'll come back and I'll wash it because it's just super nasty and there's no way to recover it. But if I don't go if I don't exercise on my third day, it usually goes up in some sort of ponytail or something. Um, when, and I will and I will use more dry shampoo. Y'all know how I feel about this one. Because um, I've talked about it probably in every single 
day of, of doing these videos, but I just, I, this, this smells too much. Like the smell, that's the number one thing about this is the smell. It lingers and lingers and lingers and lingers even over to the second day. And I don't want to wear it on the second day because I still smell it. I just, I just didn't. And I don't feel, feel like it even performed well at all. Like I don't feel like, like it just still, I, my hair actually felt gross when using this. That's just my opinion. Everybody, a lot of people like this. A lot of um, influencers on Instagram, I see a lot of them using it. I see a lot of YouTubers using it. Um, I, but I just, I just personally don't like it. So that's just my thoughts on the Living Proof Perfect Day Hair, Perfect Hair Day. To me, it is not a perfect hair day. That's just me though. And I hate the fact that like I can't even, I couldn't even like demonstrate it for y'all, but I knew I didn't like it before, before, I, even though I saw it in the pack, I knew I didn't like it, but I was going to try it again anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's my thoughts on this dry shampoo journey that we went on. Again, it came in this box from Sephora and it was uh, $30, $32. I checked before I did this video. It is still on Sephora if you want to get it for yourself just to try all these out uh, if you're looking for dry shampoo. Um, but let me tell you before you do it, two of these are for light colored hair. But yeah, so, so that's it y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this little dry shampoo journey that we went on. Thank y'all for, for watching and sticking around uh, with me during all this. Uh, it was super fun for me. I really enjoyed trying all these dry shampoos and I'm like so impressed with this foam. I, I, I was not expecting to like this. Like that's why I saved it for, for last because I was just like, I'm not going to like this. I know I'm not going to like this foam. What am I going to, how do you, how do you do use a foam as dry shampoo? But it works. You figure it out. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you like this video. Let me know what kind of dry shampoos you like. And maybe I'll give those a try too because we all need dry shampoo in our life. <laughs> it's a lifesaver. I will link this down below if you want to check it out. I'll also link all of these individual down below. Come follow me on all my social medias. I'll have all that down below, mostly on Instagram most of the time. But um, I have a Twitter and a Facebook. If you love to read, I have a Goodreads um, down below. And I have a bunch of reading videos coming up very soon. So I will see y'all then. Bye, y'all.